Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off The Record where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Amber Lou. Yay! She's very famous. She's a K-pop star. She's in a girl group called FX. She also does her own stuff. And she has a YouTube channel and she's a llama. And she runs Sparta races. Yeah. And I also, I'm on JK Party a lot. She is, so yes. go check out JK Party. You know what's crazy? For the longest time, I thought you were just like, Korean. Oh, just cause she's in K-pop, huh? They were, I think they were trying to start going into the Chinese market at the time mm. because um, Han Gyeong, who uh, was in Super Junior, was also, uh, he's also a Chinese member yeah. that was in the group. Um, but yeah, like, so everybody was like going, Toward like Japan, China, yeah. like all the other like Asian uh, major markets at that yeah. time. So when I was brought in, um, how long yeah. ago did this like this branching was, out start? This was I think it started because um, K-pop was getting really big in other parts of Asia. Yeah. So I think it started around like the early two thousands. Oh okay. So mm -hmm. then um, I think that's when they started actually scouting outside of Korea mm, yeah. and so like you know America like I think they did some in Europe as well. Yeah. Um, Southeast Asia. And that's how you got recruited. Yeah, because like when I was in the company, there was like a, there were a couple of Japanese kids, uh, there was a lot of Chinese kids, uh, a lot of Americans, a lot there's Malaysian, there's like, wow. like it was like a, a variety. So like I think. Uh, there wasn't like a specific goal at that time. It's just like let's just try to like diversify everything. I've never seen a dark K-pop star. There's actually a, a couple mm. black artists right now in oh. um, in Korea that sing in Korean that that's are actually it. really phenomenal. That's and they're K-pop. Yeah, K-pop. Wow. And they're actually really good. Are like, they speaking Korean? Speaking Korean, yes. Oh, shit. They're actually really. They're actually better than me. Wait, so how'd you get scouted? Like, how the hell? I was actually just at a, um, you know that there's like Korean festival that happens like every year in, in K-Town? I, oh, yeah. I was just standing in the crowd. Yeah. yeah so and they're like, you, yeah. I'm gonna make you a star. So pretty much, that was really? that. that was like, I, was, I was like, okay. No, literally, what? so. What, Were you so, at least dancing or showing? No, I was doing nothing. I was, I was, I was. <laughs> You're there. You. Oh, wow. Hey, you. That's cool. Wow. So I was like uh, really like. Really Those crazy. stories was, really happened. I was yeah. I was scouted based off of that. my looks. It's your bone structure. Yeah. I knew my label, but it was just like, me, really? I don't, oh. I don't know. You're like, but, I'm that special. But apparently I was scouted um, by a Mr. SM himself. <gasps> who, 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 who is this? He's like he's like the, the chairman of the label. So he was okay. eating a popsicle or something at the K-Town Fair. Was he like this? He was like, like, oh, you. <laughs> Somebody Is there. he like the LA Reed of Korea? Kind of, pretty yeah. much. So like, yeah, he he scouted me out. And he told this me. This lady. Mm. He's eating an, something about her. He's eating a Ninja Turtle like popsicle. Yeah, Ninja with, Turtle popsicle. With the gumballs on the side. Yeah. <laughs> he's eating one of the eyeballs out. No, push the mango melon. Oh. Ice. That girl right there, go get her! <laughs> That's pretty much it. So, Take my breath away. So then, once you go in, what's that like? Um, well, the, his employee came and, get, came and got me, and um, I didn't find that out until later. But um, I think I was, uh, the way that I was hearing from multiple people was that I was scouted because in China there was, I forgot her name, but there was um, a like tomboyish type of um, singer in oh. China, she was huge. So he kind of wanted to emulate that in Korea as well. Oh. Wait, how did he know that you were talented? He didn't. He didn't, he didn't give a he shit. He's like, I could build he's anybody. He's like, she looks like an Asian Peter Pan, it's perfect. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Neverland. <laughs> but like, uh, cool, because everything is like kind Peter of like Pan. trainable, you know? What? Is it? Kind of like, uh, honestly, like, kind of thing? Yeah, honestly, like, honestly, I didn't, I, I, I thought that like, you know, like you have to be born a singer, born a dancer. That's but to be really honest, like other than and like the other like you know touchy things like you know you have to have like a sense of music and like rhythm and stuff yeah. like have you seen yeah. Julia have you seen Julia dance or try to like <laughs> catch me you think that could be trained she actually did good We're some really some people need more training than others oh, okay 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 yeah. like it's like honestly like if you work really hard at it if you like really focus on your craft you can like work hard to yeah, that's, that's I could be, that's I could true, be like yeah. Beyonce. Yeah, you yeah. could. Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. Do you want, do you want Beyonce does though? But she, she started training title. when she was like five or six. Yeah, so. But anybody yeah, can though. Haven't you seen those movies where actors sing and shit, and you're like, wow, they actually did a pretty yeah. good job because they got trained. Except Wait. for Russell Crowe in fucking Les Miserables. That was fucking garbage. <laughs> so is that not common knowledge? Only because I grew up my, with my parents. They're musicians. Yeah. So I, to me, I see it as like, Okay, you learn to play basketball. Yeah. You learn to yeah. jump rope. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's all just a skill. Is that not a common? I think I there's a there's that. a divide between skill and genius, though. 
Like people who- That I believe, like, yeah, that like, I believe. You can learn to have a skill. Like I can learn to draw, but then what separates an actual like, a professional painter slash artist or blah 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 discipline is, is there like like you know you have to be cut like you have to well, be sort of you crazy it, you know but you know at the very top everyone's yeah. talented yeah there's everyone's talented at the top but what yeah. separates the best from the it's work it's, ethic it's work ethic and vision as well right. because well, yeah. like you have like I think especially now nowadays like back then like music industry was still like everywhere was like a baby so like you had like Michael Jackson um, you had uh, like Bobby Brown like all like, everybody just like created the industry, right? Yeah. Now everybody's talented. Everybody has skill. The kids that are debuting now, dude, they're fucking insane. They all dance well. They all sing well. Yeah. You have, you have to. I'm doing that with Taika for sure. Exactly. You gotta start them now. Boot camp. Let's do it. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Something to Korea. K-pop boot, boot camp. Any, any yeah. boot camp. Wait, so how long did you train? Then? I trained for a year and a half. So I, my my period of training was actually very short compared to other. And it's Korean training, right? It's not lazy American training. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know in Asia, it's like probably like eight, 12 hour days. So like in America, like, oh, I want to be a singer. I sing, I go to class once a week. But then like Asian style, yeah, it's like, you like better classes, be sweet, singing so. until you're fucking bleeding from the throat. Yeah. And again, tomorrow, and again, and again. Pro American style, they go pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, true. You know, like the, like the, you know, that, the drummer movie. Like Whiplash? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. 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 Whiplash. He's actually Asian on the inside. <laughs> See, so, I love it. Like, it it's gotta be an Asian thing. <laughs> <laughs> For the foreign artists uh, that don't speak Korean, um, that we would have Korean class in the morning, um, show up at the um, the facility at like yeah. maybe like one or two, and then like do training. Every day was pretty much different, just because like some classes would happen on Wednesday, some classes would happen so, on this. So uh, when you're learning yeah. Korean and then like you're going to these things, they they speak in Korean, right? Yeah. So you're like learning as you're going, yeah. and then they're like time to time to time to, and then you're like, what the fuck is happening? And then they're like getting mad. Yeah, at you. pretty much. Cause like well, um, I had a um, there was this one dance class that would only happen at like. 3 p.m. and I was at that time I was the only person taking that class. So the teacher would be trying to teach me in Korean, like it was a dance. So she'd be all like, Damn. "Huh?" Da, 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 da. And I was like, "What the hell is she saying?" But dancing so visual. But you have to like understand yeah. because like, with dancing, it's emotion. It's like da, 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 like or like five and six and seven eight. Like you, you want to be like, angry with the hand. Like, the first like two months, I was completely confused. But I was just like, you know, nodding my head and like, I'm cool with this. Yeah, sure, why not? That's tight. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. What but... about before you got discovered? Did you sing and dance? Uh, I only did like church stuff. But other than that, like, I only choreography I knew was from Taekwondo. But other than that, like, everything's pretty like, again, I think everything's trainable. It's just to get to that next level and then to exceed is like, if you are passionate for it. And okay. what your vision for it? Now you're in there, right? And yeah. they, they just introduce you to a bunch of people. Like this is your co-band mates. Oh okay, yeah, so, how does that happen? Uh, I'm not sure about other companies, but our company, we um, three of my members were actually already in like this kind of group. Um, we debuted as five. Um, we're, at, we're at four right now, but um, three of them were actually already in a group, and our other member was already gonna debut as an actress mm. slash model or whatever, and then. I came in, I was like the latest one to come in, but I think within like six months before we debuted, they're all like, we have these like weekly tests and then um, also like, like I think a, like a big test every three months with like the actual execs. Like a screen wow. test. Yeah. Pretty it's like American Idol, but then like not televised. Yeah, wow. pretty much. Yeah. So the weekly tests were like that and then like the three month, um, Tests were like this huge showcase, pretty much, and then you have a huger one every six months. So mm -hmm. that's when like the execs actually evaluate and do all this stuff. And um, yeah, they, is that they, where they evaluate? If you have like factor, yeah, dude. if you have like the it factor, yeah, the it factor, or like they start like kind of like like putting people together, and then like wow. okay, I guess for the next three months, ha put these five people together and see how they work together, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. What's so it like being put in a group that already is a group, and then you're the new person? It was kind of weird at first, but luckily, I was already close to my members. Before? How? Yeah. How? Oh, uh, cause we all train together. Oh, I see. Oh. Yeah, so you have all your like little classes, and then like, when you get thrown into a group together, you're just kind of like, huh. Oh, so yeah. it's like it's like high school yeah. boot camp. Yeah, pretty and much. It's like, oh shit, from yeah. other class. So you already know each yeah. other. It's not strangers. Yeah, and plus, like, um, one of my members, Crystal, she uh, she sp she speaks English. She's from the she's from the Bay, I think, or San somewhere in San Francisco. Um, so I spent a lot of my time with her because she would get off school and then she would like come and she'd be like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I don't know what I'm doing. What does this mean?" And she's like, "That." 
and then my other member was Chinese, so we would speak Chinese a lot together. Oh. So we were kind of already like wow. we were already kind of close, and then I lived with my other member as well. So it's like, oh. you know, it was like. Great. It was actually pretty good. It was just like the whole communication factor was hard because we'd speak, be speaking three languages at once. Yeah. And then, you know, just very different cultures. So a lot of communication was very much needed in the beginning of our group just because of language barrier. But then I think that brought us closer together. But it's fascinating because you're, you're, you're under contract. So it's like yeah. you, you wake up one day, you just said you're five members. And then, and then you said you're now four members. Yeah. Did you just wake up one day and a member's like gone? Um, so she just had other artistic like ambitions. And you know, we were just like, you know, if that's what makes you happy, go ahead. Oh, so but, she chose to leave. Yeah, she chose to leave. I don't like, I know there's a lot of drama with like other groups that have like people leaving and like, oh my gosh, and they call them out on Twitter or whatever social media platform. But ours was just very like, if you don't want to do it, it's totally fine. You know, do your thing. And I think she, you know, she's going through stuff. So like, you know, it's like, you know, who's not going through that? And I think our group was very like, you know, just not, I don't want to say it wasn't chill. It was just like, you know, we understand. Mm -hmm. So, cause you know, it's, like the worst part about like K-pop is that in the end a lot of the groups are just very manufactured and we're being we're like billion different people being put into one group and we have to spend 24 hours with each other you're going to go crazy oh, yeah. eventually yeah so, cuz it wasn't naturally yeah. like fit yeah so but luckily there are groups that like do stick together you know? Backstreet you guys boys dude. Backstreet boys yeah, yeah. So have not got they've been together for 40 years back streets back all right all right <laughs> but yeah in the end it was just kind of like we all get it and it's just like if you're not happy doing something as a friend we don't want to hold you back from your happiness that's so American. Have you have you ever seen somebody get kicked out? Oh yeah. Uh, it's like you're not boy bandy enough, or like that kind of thing. <laughs> Do they get kicked out because you're like you're, they're not good enough? To be really honest, I feel really bad for the people, the person I technically kind of replaced, because there were people, the the, the group, girl trainees that were um, training with me at the time. A lot of them already trained for like three to five, six years, Whoa. and you had this. Um, you all, play somebody? I. I kind because you know, just take a pull. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I don't. Did you see her? But I bet it felt good. You're like, I only trained a year and a half. Did you see her leave crying, holding a little plant and oh. stuff? <laughs> Little that little, little box. office box yeah. with the stapler in it. Was it like stapler and probably stapler. mascara and some moose? <laughs> Stuffed like, animal. She cleared her K pop yeah. desk? Like basically, because um, <laughs> our group, FX, was basically made um, with girls that train less than five years. And most girls train for like, like, Six, seven, and they years. still sucked. Oh. And and they, <laughs> they were actually really talented, and that's what I felt even worse. Because when you go into the company, these are the girls that take care of you because they've been there for so long. The veterans. The and bananas. um, <laughs> so like when our group got put together, it's just like what the like you know like the hierarchy in Korean culture. It's like yeah. why is my junior like in this group? It, it just it kind of hurts. But they were they were all really nice girls. Yeah. But um, I actually still keep in touch with a couple of them, and uh, it was just like. I was just like, are you happy? They're like, yeah, I'm actually really happy like doing my own thing. Um, uh, there's a girl in Red Velvet who is actually a junior group of ours that debuted, I think like couple, like at least three, four years after us. Yeah. And her name is Sergi. She's actually my trainee senior. Like she's she's younger than me, but she actually was in the company before me. Oh wow. Oh. So it was like I was like, I think it's a rarity. Yeah. Yeah. So every time like I would go back to the like the company like before she debuted, I'd be like. When you debuting, man, I want to see you on stage. And then like she was like, I don't know yet, but uh, you know she, she was there for seven years, seven eight uh, years. I was like, I was, like, but she's she's super talented. She's killing it right now. And like you know, what about weird. the chick that you replaced? Were you like, when are you debuting? I'm just kidding. Oh damn, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> A lot of them are actually pretty like they're actually kind of happy that they like le like kind of left because like you know you're just in the company for a long time not knowing what's gonna happen and you don't know when you're gonna. Debut. It's just like a talent incubator, right? Like yeah. you just don't know yeah. when's gonna. You never like, know when you're gonna debut, so we're all competing to debut, and it's just like you know. Dang. Oh, so it's just a talent factory up until the time that they decide to release you. Yes, in very very bold terms, yes. Has anyone tried to sabotage you? Ooh. No, the no, actually, no. Oh, I would imagine like some pageant girl drama yeah. stuff. They throw marbles and like while yeah. they're I trying to dance like, to break your you know, ankle. Like, typical like like high school drama that kind of stuff, but like you can't like not really any sabotaging. Just no one put glue in your shampoo. No one put X lax in your coffee or anything. I don't know when this is gonna air, but let, let's just say like. Not the trainees, but other people in the company definitely try to sabotage me. But 
But luckily I debuted and they, they are, they're not in the picture anymore. Well, they so. try to sabotage, what does that mean? They put kimchi <laughs> in her motherfucking coffee. They would basically like, you know, slip something to the existing blah, 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 blah. Oh. But oh. I'd be in people's ear. Yeah, like the, the guy that like I knew pushed for me like crazy was um, uh, the, the main choreographer. The guy that's eating the popsicle in K-Town? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's the boss of the boss. He's the boss oh, of the boss. Okay. He owns the company. Our main choreographer, like he still says to this day, like, you know, keep doing whatever the fuck makes you happy. Cause he knows that like, I'm just very driven like to do my shit. That's tight. And um, he was, he was, I was like, thank you for, I'm like, I knew you were the guy that pushed me to debut. Oh, like, that's really cool. So, He's like, you do whatever the fuck makes you happy while wearing all white and having swoopy hair. Exactly. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. pretty uh, much that. Before you were discovered, what did you want to do? Was I it music? Want, I wanted to do uh, uh, bioengineering or like what environmental science and stuff. Do you still dabble in that? I. <laughs> How do you dabble in that? It's so complicated. You can. You can. I dabble in nuclear energy on the side. She could be doing some light reading. I don't know. My mental capacity will not let me learn more about that stuff, but like I still like. And you kind of also need a lab too. Yeah, and like, you know, like test subjects, you know. My weekend gig is I work at a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Just so Saturdays. Fucking fun. It's because you know what I thought of immediately when she said that? I thought of Bose because she reads statistics for fun. So that's why I'm like, oh, uh, do you dabble yeah. in it? <laughs> I see. So I try, I, at least like with my job, I think the only way that I can help my other goal is to like maybe get enough money to fund these cool projects that like are coming yeah. out with like more energy friendly stuff or, you know, environmental cleanups. And like I would try to like, I would search up if I had time to like go to an actual trash cleanup because I want to get my hands there. I don't want to just give like give money would be amazing too but i don't have that money yet so i just want to like be more um involved in the actual local like cleanups and like you know just do more charity work in that sense but uh i my sister is really big in um you know nonprofit and stuff like that so i would try to like educate myself as much as i can but i'm also just really stupid. what kind of nonprofit does she do does uh, she take she, out the plastic in the ocean? Yes. Okay. And she does. Uh, she did a lot of um, a lot of like um, uh, what do you call it? women's rights um, mm. stuff and uh, you know, that like more like social mm. stuff. I just don't remember. My sister's a veterinarian, <laughs> and so she had to animal rights. Part of her yeah. well, part of oh yeah, her, animal rights too. Part of her <laughs> college credit and all that shit was she had to volunteer at this like uh, facility for. Sheltered animals or some shit. Yeah. San Diego Zoo. Yeah, she no, it's something like that. But it was like in a in the mountains, and I had to go with her. And like you know, you get that thing in your heart where you're like it's fucking charity and all this shit. And then I'm like clean up owl shit and all this stuff. And I'm like <laughs> fuck this. I'm never doing this shit again. Me and Bar volunteered at a hospital, and I helped the grandma take a shit. And I said fuck this. It's not for me. <laughs> yeah. How do you help a grandma take a yeah, shit? Yeah, how'd that happen? She's like holding your shoulders? No, up? like me and the 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 LVN, the, not the nurse nurse, but whatever, like we all had to like help. The reform cholo? Move her, yeah, move her to the side so she he could pull out the bedpan and clean that and all that. Wait, and I'm just like, too, really honest, I'm just like, like, fuck! There are chair, like, if that's not for you, I think you'd be great at like, um, there's uh, this thing that uh, people in Korea do where you deliver coal to Places that don't have heaters, and I do that every year, um, as much as I can. Um, coal. Yeah, coal. Like they. Like you got big yeah, coal rocks. Like the the, the br briquettes, I think that they're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, briquettes. So like you, we deliver those things, and like, it's just heavy shit, and it's like labor. It's like you have How to. How do you not power trip over them? Like if I had a backpack full of coal, and this guy's like, "Oh, thank God you're here." I'm like, "Oh, really? Do you want?" Because they're actually really nice to you too. Do you look them in the eyes as you turn on their heater and you're like, are you really thankful? <laughs> They're actually not there most of the time, so you just basically just go to this thing and then- I just buy an electric stove with a solar charger and then I bring that over. Well, there's a lot of places that don't have like electricity and- They don't have sun, Joe. <laughs> I just need- Damn it, it's Korea. I, here's the thing, when I'm cleaning up owl shit, it's not rewarding because the owl doesn't say thank you. But when it turns its head like 270 degrees, that oh. grandma didn't say thank That's you. Sick. That is sick. But see, in your position, you get no reward for the shit. Where's your feedback? I get right. a work. If if I had to be very just like if I need to get something out of it, I get a workout out of it because my the next day my legs look amazing. But if you had a cold person hugging you or something, that's I think that's nice. Gives you some. Thank you so much. Oh, get off me. <laughs>